Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Thursday, everybody. On the uh, first day of summer, the longest day of the year. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Craig, good to see you. Mark, there you go. Michael, Ken, Jerry, good to see you. Craig, Jason, Jerry, good to see you. Al Rogers. It was nice to see you too, buddy. Everyone, Mark, Fernando, Deb Fine. Good, good, good. And all the fellow traders. Good morning, everyone. So I guess... um. Before we start getting into talking about um, the SBOT that we started trading about an hour ago, and you can see what a beautiful little run it's doing. Not as pretty as the other ones of yesterday and a day before that, but once again, early bird gets the money, and we'll uh, we'll talk a little bit about that uh, before, and, and also some other ones that are making the watch list. But before we do that, let's get right into talking about what happened yesterday, because we had a couple of good stocks that made some big moves, and we always like to kind of... Uh, talk a little bit about it and let everybody know what they missed and don't worry about it whatever you missed it's always a brand new day but a couple of stocks are on our watch list I uh, just want to bring up uh, the CBLS it was a nice little move yesterday with that stock just popped you could see one from 4 all the way to 11 stock was literally up about 200% um, then all of a sudden it came crashing down you know that's why but the money was made you know right here you could see on the short side Stock gapped up pretty nice, and you can see once the trend kept going lower and lower, you know, just because you think the stock is good doesn't mean that you can't short it. There was a couple of them like that, and we'll, 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 we'll look at them, uh, that, uh, that did exactly that. Claps, CLPS, that was a pretty nice one. Went from 6 all the way to uh, 17, nice little push. Not as nice as a trend as some of the other ones. Did a couple of nasty shakes out there. I know some people got caught on it, but that one did pretty. Um, that one did pretty well. It was up um, really nicely, eleven to about uh, seventeen dollars. And obviously, the typical IQ trade did really well, and the HUYA. You know, I know we've been trading those stocks um, on our swing trades. We've been doing pretty well. Fox also has done very very well too. Uh, I told you this yesterday. I actually held the position overnight. Um, Several reasons why we've seen this before. Uh, Disney sweetened the deal. The worst thing could happen to you at Fox is you break even. But if Comcast comes in there and counter offers, because we all know about when you're in a bidding war for a company, you know, for a house, you don't like to be second. You don't want to lose. So, uh, and that kind of happened twice over here. You can see how it gapped up from 40 to 44. Now it's at the 48. Um, so anyway, if a worst came to, worst case scenario. Well, I'll make a little bit when it dropped all the way down here to 47.50. I know I'm not going to get hurt. The buyout is the buyout, but if Comcast comes in there, you know, look for the thing go high. Already gapped up already. You know, it's already gapped up pretty nice, but we did pretty well on that one. And then S Bucks was probably the best of them all yesterday. That was one of the big morning, and actually, I I didn't mention the I Starbucks. I was talking about it yesterday. I told you this stock hasn't gone absolutely nowhere after everything that's going on. Now Starbucks is in the news, you know, with its, uh, uh, you know, um, all these, you know, what's happening in China. You know, they got like 17%, 14% of their their money, uh, uh, revenues in China. Now you have these tariffs that are coming in. But then they had all this stuff. I, I actually thought this was going to happen even before the tariffs when they... Uh, what happened when they had those uh, those guys arrested and they closed down the store for one day? One day they closed down the store, all their stores, to teach their employees, you know, customer relations stuff like that. And let me tell you, that's a lot of money right there, guys. You know, one day, one day is a fortune. So whatever it is, stock, I, I think it's still a short, you know. And then I was just um, was unbelievable yesterday. I. That was probably the best winner of yesterday as the trend goes. It was uh, a lot of us sort of around, eight, we sort of around 18, right around here, once it broke higher highs. And you could see one from 18, 18, uh, 18, 18, the thing all the way up probably to 2050. But this stock was pretty good for a day's pay. That's all it was. You know, no, no huge, huge, huge winners. Uh, Claps, uh, Grant saying Claps is moving again. The, the CLPS, let me just bring it up. It is moving. It's got good pre-market, but once again, it is down about four, uh, almost five percent. I would back off on it. Listen, the spread's pretty big right now. We'll see how she opens up. You know, it'll be like a second protocol grant. All right. Now, what is moving this morning? Well, the big one uh, that's moving this morning is the S spot. 
Now, I was here at 8 o'clock in the morning. I know some of you, it's always great. A lot of you guys are starting to get an early bird gets a worm. Um, I got in this position around uh, $2.24. I thought we were going to have a nice little pop and went to about $250. i am like, oh, this is great. I averaged up. You know, I got out of it. I didn't like how it was trending. Um, you know, they came up with some big news. They came up with some news that, I don't know, something about some drug that they got some good results on Alzheimer's and stuff like that, which we all know is anything that could fix any of these major issues we have every day is, is big business. But you can see the stock long term. Uh, took a big hit from ten dollars all the way down to a dollar sixty. So you know there's some movement here. You know, the stock not too long ago had a good pop. You could see it went from two to about three fifty. You know, but I don't know. I wasn't too crazy about the trend, so I got out of it. But you know what? Could be. I, I think it was a good thing, and uh, we'll see how she opens up. Though, listen, I'm not afraid to jump back into it. I just didn't see I had the eight thirty move. Great volume. Look at look at the look at the matrix over here. Huge, huge I orders everywhere. Stock already traded 3.3 million shares. That's a lot of damn shares, if you ask me. All right. So anyway, S spot Fox is going back on my watch list. So you got F O F O X and you got F O X A. Okay, they're both the same stock. So those are the two ones we're going to keep an eye on. All right. So put those on your watch list, and then. Um, there was a couple other little cheapies here. This one I saw had a nice little push, CASI. She gapped up huge. She went from 6 to 850. She started to build little support levels right here. Let's see how she how she's gonna hold right here. You remember, use your your matrix. If you don't have the matrix, you go use NASDAQ Book Viewer. You know, you can see over here. Let me just bring up CASI. And uh, you could see, you know, see if you see the iceberg orders out there. Not as nice as the other ones, as the S spot. But you know what? We got some, you got some good movement there. And you know, stock did trade a million shares, so we'll put that on the watch list. You know, a couple other ones. Um, I really liked this one earlier, but she was just so damn expensive. The DRI went from ninety five to one hundred six, starting to trend down right now. But it was just expensive stock. I'm like, hey, you know what? I liked it, but she was a, I wasn't too crazy about it. This one, on the other hand, um, automatically this falls in, in a two category when you got the scalping five cent spread. But the HRTX, nice little push, starting to get a little bit of a Fausto flag right there. You could see it moving pretty nicely. And then on the losers, because we all like to short, right? Shorting is awesome. We make a lot of money shorting. Looks like there were a couple of them out there. I mean, this one is breaking lower lows. It was a $70 stock. Stock is down to 18. The VIRX looks pretty interesting on a short. Guys, don't be afraid to short, man. Short is, I mean, everyone, you know, there's an old there's an old saying. People always say, it's not the American dream to short, to think bad. That's like, I don't know if any of you guys ever play craps and, and then all of a sudden it's like someone's playing the don't pass line. And like, oh, you can't play that. That's the don't, the don't pass line. You know, it's like you're, you're trading against everyone. Listen, money's money, right? You're out there for yourself. So don't ever think that, you know, you're doing something bad. Yeah, you know, we made a lot. Listen, you saw Starbucks yesterday, how great that was. So it's what it's all about. By the way, want to bring up um, something also before, um, before we go is the GEVO. Listen. This is program trading at its best. We made so much money with GEVO. It went from four all the way to 24. And it's so funny, I got a, I got a message on YouTube um, from, a, from somebody who's been following me and they was asking me, he says, hey Fausto, what happened to GVO? I thought you said it was a good stock. You know, I'm like, where, what, what, today or three days ago? You know what I mean? Uh, but why is it down to 12? Who the hell cares why it's at 12? I'm not even, you should have came to us two days ago. That's what trading is. Day trading, let me just clarify, is you're in and out the same day, okay? Once you hold a position overnight, you're no longer a day trader or a swing trader. And this is why people get confused when it comes to trading. They don't know the difference. So anyway, but you know how many people were are in this position right now and they think the stock was like oh but you said it was going higher i'm like when did you come in the morning you know so um unfortunately you know this is what you have to learn and you have to just learn how to play the game and you know but listen with gvo i don't know if it was on your short list it went up pretty fast i, I to me it's still it's, it's going on my watch list because now you know as a day trader she's no longer a long she is now a short 
But yesterday, what a great short, 20 down to 12. I don't know if your brokerage firm has it in in their inventory, but that's another that's another thing you got to take up with them. But if you did, let me tell you, you cleaned up on that one. And by the way, a couple other stocks are doing really well for us. By the way, Shaq on our swing trade is doing great. Um, Shake Shaq just has not stopped. You know, just kept going higher and higher. Shaq and also the GoDaddy trade. Just like it's always just creeping up little by little. Look at those beautiful trends. That's what you want, you know. Um, stocks, like, stocks like this. So they all did really, really well. All right, guys. Anything I'm missing I did not call out? Any anything? By the way, regarding about the pre-market settings and this and that, and how to set up your platform. Listen, you, um, if you're a student, we teach you in class. If you're not a student, you got to call your brokerage firm and ask them. I can just tell you this: a lot of them don't want you to get involved in pre-market because if you're not trained, you don't know what you do. You end up doing more damage to yourself than good. But you could see most of the money that we make if you if you let us train you, we make most of our money in pre-market. All right. Anything I'm missing I did not call out, students, fellow traders? All right, now guys, don't forget, class today, um, you're starting phase two. So um, this is where things get a lot more interesting. In phase two, we're gonna teach you a little bit more about Fausto flags. We're gonna teach you about how to controlling, you know, um, why losing money is a good thing, because if you know why you did it, you won't do it again, which a lot of people don't know how to prevent. We're gonna talk about psychology. Uh, you're gonna talk about um, shakes. You know, what we saw this morning regarding that S-Bot. So this is where things get a little bit more involved, a little bit more intense. And then don't forget next week uh, in phase three is where you guys are going to trade side by side with me. Where we're going to take all this and put it to the test. And I'm actually going to put you to the test and tell you if you're right and wrong and see how we do. So don't forget about that class. And then also today, 12 o'clock, you know that's our middle of the day, open house. Anybody wants to come and join us, tell your friends, tweet, tweet about it, Facebook about it, Instagram about it. YouTube about it, but uh, try to uh, try to come out there at 12 o'clock, and let's just tell everyone uh, how great trading is all about, because once again, it's not for everyone. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, and uh, let's make some money going into this open. All right, other than that, I'll see you in class, and see you at 12. And then remember, we've got the afternoon meeting at 2.30. Good luck, everyone.